morning, Bee Fam, and welcome back to another Batista family vlog. Hope you guys are all keeping well out there. Yes, I am wearing a hat because I haven't worn them days where I just cannot be bothered to do my hair. The weather's looking a little bit mm, but it's meant to brighten up a little bit later on. It is pretty early, by the way. So, Sean has a dental appointment as well this afternoon. So, Stephanie will be taking Sean to go and get his braces. I don't know if he's getting a fixed brace or he's getting um, a different type of brace put on, but he's getting a bit of an upgrade. Um, as you guys know, we did have a comment. Somebody commented saying, um, Sean needs a brace. He must be a new subscriber or something, but Sean actually does have a brace, just in case like you, you didn't know that. Um, if you go back watch the previous videos, you'll see all of his like, dental treatment that he's went through, and he, he's had to go through a lot of dental treatment. But it's worth it in the long run. Um, I had a brace when I was younger, um, and honestly, I never looked back. It's a real hard thing to have to wear and hard thing to have to go through, but the results in the end are always worth it. So Sean's going for an upgrade today. Stephanie will be taking him to his appointment. Well, I'll be dashing off, taking care of a few other things behind the scenes of the vlog. Um, and then I'll pick back up with you guys a little bit later on when I pick Stephanie up. I think Stephanie's got an autumn walk planned for us as well a little bit later on. So anyways, lots happening in today's video guys. So a big welcome to everybody. So I'll catch you guys up in a little bit. See you guys very soon. Okay, so Sean has got his new braces in and hopefully fingers crossed. We'll hear you just before Christmas and then you get your fixed braces on. <laughs> Oh, baby, let's turn this way. We've just finished up at the dentist. Are you guys dirty? Let's just clean you. So we've just finished up at the dentist. Um, Sean hasn't been wearing his brace for the past week because his brace broke and um, the metal part did. So it's went, his teeth went back just one millimetre, which isn't too bad. We thought it was a lot more. Um, but one millimetre isn't too bad considering he didn't wear them for, um, I think it was about two weeks wasn't it, that he didn't wear them for because the metal part broke and then there was nothing they could do until they got the new ones and anyways, so he's got his new ones in, do you want to show them? So this one hasn't got the metal part yeah. along the front and um, he has this like little pin that he has to turn I'll get him to show you how to do it properly um, when we get back home but he has to turn it like every week to tighten it up and then we'll only need four centimeters sorry about that big fam the memory card decided that it was full and now I'm zoomed in let's zoom out oh no I'm zooming in there we go that's better so yeah we're super happy with the progress Excited for Sean that he might have fixed braces in for Christmas as well. There is a chance that he might have to get teeth taken out, but he said that that is really unlikely with Sean because he's done everything that he's been asked to do. I'm standing at bus stop waiting for Sean, that's why I've got a mask on, but um, everything that Sean's doing it doesn't seem likely because he's doing such a good job and it only needs to go four millimeters more. Um, he just recommended that when he's closing his mouth rather than close it like that close your lips together and then that brings the teeth forward as well um but then braces are specifically designed to bring the teeth forward um so yeah all's good but because he hasn't worn for a week it's like starting over again a little bit Sean said that doesn't it's not like hurting as much as it was when he first got them in but it's, he got some new photos taken today as well and I've seen the difference as well because the short is the photos from last time when he first went in big difference guys honestly they've done such an amazing job but yeah I think Dion's a little bit jealous <laughs> because Dion's like when when am I getting mine done because Dion's on the waiting list but because of Covid like the waiting list has been longer because everything's been closed down and things and then also the dentist that Sean has was saying that fingers crossed hopefully we don't go into a winter lockdown um, but if we do then what I would recommend is just keeping the braces in don't turn it just give us a call like every week and I'll let you know like what you should be doing um, so hopefully we don't because he's not the only person that said that we're most likely going to go into a winter lockdown so yeah but I'll catch I'm just waiting for Sean because I'll give him a call. He's on his way now. So we came for a little walk along the road to see the cows. He's a big boy, isn't he? He's like, nope, not interested in you. 
Hello, big fella. Oh, oh. You've got to be careful with these, you know, because Dad used to work with these. And they can charge at you. Sobe fam, we came to a place called Saltwell Park because it's been a long time since we've been to this park and the kids have missed the maze because it's got a huge like hedged maze inside of it and the kids when we last time we came like about a year ago used to love playing it so we're going to go and have a little run around in the maze there's a few other things to do in the park as well the kids are super excited because like I said they haven't been here for about a year so they're really happy to come here um, True fact guys, we actually got locked in this park after dark one time at 9 o'clock because it closed at 9 o'clock uh, It was our first time coming here and we didn't read the sign and we came we were actually locked in the park We had to call Caleb, hold mum's hand Heart attack on the go there Caleb Caleb just ran right close to the road We had to call the city council to come open the gates <laughs> and That was before we were vlogging, that was quite funny actually um, But yeah, it's a nice lovely park, it's in, located in Gateshead um, which is just across the water from Newcastle. It's not too far of a drive for us But it's, it's a lovely big park. It's got a huge like um, Sand pit in here and everything. I'll just show you guys when we get in rather than talking about it But yeah, I'll catch you guys up in a little bit and uh, see you guys soon I think we tried to squeeze through the gate last time when we tried to get out Yeah, it's we really did didn't we? We tried to squeeze through that gate. Yeah. Couldn't get through could we? But every time we come back to this park, it always reminds us of, of like that actual moment when we got all got locked in. I was running the top gate, the side gate, and all of them were like locked. I was like, now we're gonna have to spend the night in the park. And then um, there was a number to call. We were calling them for hours, and we couldn't get through. And then like we just kept calling it, and eventually we got through. And then the guy came down with the um, in the council van, and he he opened the gate. <laughs> We kind of got told off though because we didn't read the sign properly. But um, yeah, do you want to go for a kickabout first or do you want to go for a walk? Oh, there's a nice animal section up here. Should we go and see the animals? Because yeah, there's peacocks and stuff up here. Yeah, um, I recommend vlogging with your right hand because the sun is on your right and it's been blading the camera there. I noticed that the picture's a bit better. Look at all the colours on the floor. But should we get some pictures for Instagram, guys? Yeah. yeah? You already got the idea. Look how beautiful this looks. We. <laughs> Mum will take the pictures. Yeah, like Logan's got the idea. Look how many leaves she got. It's a sandwich. A nice crispy leaf sandwich. <laughs> So it looks like we started off a little bit of a trend there, didn't we, Stephanie? Everybody started joining in. <laughs> Everyone was like, let's line up and wait, we'll do it. That's that beautiful, that's thing. a beautiful leaf hat. So we're all like on a little leaf hunt looking for the perfect leaves. Because we're going back to do some autumn art and crafts when we get back. Yeah, but, um, so someone asked, because they've seen my Instagram uh, post, where yesterday being Sunday and today being half him. I put a post up with like preparing some schoolwork and someone asked like do children do schoolwork in half term? So the answer to that question is yes. But it's nothing like massive. It's just like yeah. yeah, it's just like little bits, a little bit of math, a little bit of English, a little bit of reading, you know, we might do that when we go go back tonight. Yeah. But it's nothing like sit down yeah. from nine till three, it's nothing like that. As you guys can see, we're out on a walk now, and then later on we'll be going back and doing a little bit of schoolwork. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I'm just like looking at every other leaf. I'm so sorry if it looks like I'm not paying attention, but I'm looking at all the other leaves. Caleb, Logan, everybody, look at leaves like them shapes. Okay, yeah. the biggest, best ones and the nicest colours. We've got like a reddish orange one there. 
Look, there's some nice dark reds and some other oranges, maybe a few yellows as well. It's been such a long time since we've been here. But honestly, guys, this is one of our favorite parks. We used to bring Dale and Sean here all the time when they were little. And they've got like the pet like part and they've got like a little castle thing there as well. They've got a maze. That sun is so bright, you can hardly see me. But so much to do here, and it's a really nice, fun family day out. <laughs> the wind is crazy. We're in this together now. We're in this together now. Give me your love and tell me your secrets. Cause we're in this together now. Yeah, we're in this together now Costumes and people would like jump out from the bushes and stuff and scare you. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah. I was just walking along the path and I was like, oh, I remember crazy. that. Yeah. yeah it's a shame they haven't got on this year, isn't it? Yeah. I've never been done there before. So we finally arrived at Pet's Corner and Logan and Caleb could not wait to get here. And look at the size of these. There's peacocks, there's roosters, and all sorts of stuff. And on the roof up there, you got some nice fancy pigeons just hanging out. I don't know what else they've got, but we'll go around and have a look. Hey, the rabbits are on the other side, Stephanie. Yeah. Look at that. No, I know, but it's still beautiful, isn't it? Where's the big male? Because the big male normally just wanders around, doesn't he? No, I've not seen that before. Mm. Can you remember when we came here and we did that event? That what I'm recording you? it, yeah. Because Sean's got a camera, I've got a camera. We were just talking about that and vlogging it. We were saying because we're walking along that path and it brought back so many memories. Yeah. These two yeah. are so, are so excited to get here. I know, these two they are want, They want to see the big male peacock, but that looks nice. It looks like a Chinese oh, garden, doesn't it? Is oh, it yeah, there's a pond as well. Yeah, I know, that's new. Let's go over there after we've done this let's, part. I know, let's go up in the This is what happens when you don't go to a place for a year or two. It all changes when you come back. Makes it all the more exciting. So the big meal's over there, but we're gonna wait until like there's not many people there. We're gonna go and have a look to keep a distance and that sort of stuff, you know. Playing hide and seek, are you? So this is all. Sorry, Donna. I keep interrupting Stephanie. Stephanie says. Can you just use the back of your hand? I always do. You shouldn't touch your face. You have to do it. You have to do it. Otherwise, it looks like you're really upset on the vlog. <laughs> Can I use yeah, car? yeah, of course you can. So Logan's just came up to it, and he's just like the cutest little thing. And he's like, Mum, can we run around like freely? I was like, Yeah, of course you can. Just remember to keep your distance from people. But they've missed that. They've missed just being able to go Get outside anywhere in the park and just being able to run around and not like yeah. be thinking about COVID. So there is the male right there at the back, if you guys can see him. But he normally fluffs his feathers right up, doesn't he, Stephanie? He does, yeah. He's beautiful. Every time we've came, he's always been very beautiful. And I'm just waiting for him to do it. Hopefully, hopefully I get lucky on the vlog and he'll do it for me. Look at that colour, so love that colour blue. Oh, I know, the Indian, you know they are. That's where they're from. I don't know where you guys Today can see. Today we see a wild rat. There's a rat there. Can you see it? Yeah, it's quite small. Got that small, that's huge. So I'm having a game of hide and seek with the boys. I've just counted to 15. And I think I can see someone right over there. <laughs> I think I found someone. Boo! <laughs> found you, Caleb. Okay, so it's our turn to hide. Logan is currently counting. I'm hiding behind this bush. 
Jerry Sean's went over there somewhere. But I've just got to tuck myself in a little. There you go, ladies. I look like a crazy woman hiding in the bushes. I go that way. I was expecting you to go that way. <laughs> now you need to find Caleb and Sean. I'll tell you one thing I've not seen. I don't think you can get them in England anymore. Though, only in Scotland is the red, red school. school yeah. yeah, you don't get red schools in England anymore. But I remember seeing them when I was a kid. I used to live in our estate where I used to live. Like you see in the trees and stuff. How nice. Yeah, all extinct with a horrible grey squirrel eating them. How creepy do we look in these bushes, cuddly? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Look at the trees, I was just saying that would be beautifully decked for Christmas, wouldn't it? What are they, B fam, on the top of that tree? They're like cones, just up here. No, they're not cones. What are they, though? They're not pine cones. And there, we can see them on the camera now. They look like something else. Looks beautiful though, I'd have that as a Christmas tree in my back garden, I've had a big enough garden. <laughs> Oh yeah. Should we try and go? Should we try and go? Uh, Christmas tree picking this year. Yeah. yeah. Christmas tree picking. You would stick so choose you your own pi uh, Christmas tree. Getting a real Christmas tree. Yeah. I, it down. Yeah. I, I think yeah. you used to be able to cut them down and take like, your own saw, but I think it was a health and safety risk, and people stopped doing it because of that. Because people like cutting off their fingers and so stuff. So now you, know? you need to mark it, and then they'll cut it down for you. Yeah. 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 yeah well, but we should do that because we've never done that. I think no, there's some plantations up in Kilda, one. up yeah, in Kilda Forest, one, one, one. and I think there's also up in, where is that place, Alston, because we drove past a few in Alston. Yeah, if you guys know of any really good places where you can go and pick your own real Christmas tree. You can have like, a cut for you. Yeah, let us know in the comments down below. Yeah, it's, it's got to come down, it's got to come down in front of you, doesn't it? Yeah, and I think it would be so cool, we could put it on the top of our uh, roof. Back as well. I thought you meant on top of the roof. I was like, wow, I don't know if I'm doing Christmas at me. <laughs> on top of the car roof, you yeah. meant. I thought you meant on and top of the house. Do you roof. like your little ornament that you've got on the tree? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's from our, like, one of our first Christmas like, gifts yeah. that we bought each other, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It was from um, House yeah. of Fraser. Yeah. And anyways, should we get ahead and further up to the maze? Yeah, it feels so good to be out. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So good. So, like, the last couple of Mom. days, I've just been like in Mom. this two second song. I've just been in like this mood where I've not wanted to vlog. Like I've been feeling a bit down. I don't know if it's because I'm on my period now. Uh, if that's like had anything to do with it. So Stephanie and Sean are playing a game of curves. Anybody else ever play this game? So if you haven't played it before, the idea is is they've got to hit it off each curb. And whoever hits it the most on either side, if Stephanie hits Sean more, she gets more points if he hits. Mum's more, he gets more points. It's a really old fashioned game. So I decided to move to a more safer area because Stephanie just nearly fell down the flipping hill down there. There was a huge hole and I said, listen, you're gonna be in casts for Christmas if you're gonna keep playing there. So we've came to an area where there's nice, lovely flowers. So they can play it here. Close. <laughs> This game is literally ancient. I don't see anybody playing it now. Nobody at all, but we're all just lined up on this curb, they're lined up on that curb, and we're having a nice good game of curbs. And the people start to die down now, there's hardly been any people for the last half an hour, so we've had a really good game, haven't we? Yeah, we're but um, this was a game that everybody used to play with their neighbours. Oh, again, he's getting good at it. Before the Wi Fi was invented, this is when all the kids came out in the streets and played nice. Oh, <laughs> close. We're in this together now. We're in this together now. Give me your love and tell me your secrets. Cause we're in this together now. Yeah, we're in this together now. Falling down, even if we're falling down. Oh. 
All of me is yours, every part of me. And we just caught Frankie down here in the corner, just munching on his nuts by himself. Hello, Frankie. Frankie. Hi, Frankie. Are you coming? But she attacks us. Oh my word. So you guys might remember this. It's only half the structure. But you guys might remember this from one of our old intros. Comment down below, what is that guys? If anybody knows. Um, but yeah, it's a symbol of Gateshead and Newcastle it is. Little hint. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna get heading back and probably catch you guys up when we're in the car. Also guys, I really like my outfit. My hair is kind of frizzy because of the wind and this if he makes my hair like frizzy. So you guys got me some blow for having to you. And this is my outfit. I love it so much. It looks really cute. And yeah, now we're going to go now we're going to the car. I've drawn this. So orange killed the green and pink is the witness and it's for putting the body and there is a fence there and I'm working on well oops, that's my scraps this right here and then I'm gonna make it like take off his body I am so yeah that's what I'm doing so far <laughs> 